hello everyone welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to do pose landmark detection for your flutter app using media pipe now unfortunately this video is only for android because pose landmark detection uh, is not supported ios at the time of this recording so firstly i will show you guys the output uh, now the output is little off so here as you can see i have one button called pick image once I click on it, it opens the photos app and here I can select a photo where I want to detect the post detection. And if you see like the uh, the uh, pose which has been detected is little bit off and unfortunately I think this is a flutter issue uh, uh, which I am not able to figure it out like I don't face this issue for uh, native android development. Uh, but anyways if you are able to again this is very minor issue i think related to layout in case if you are able to figure it out uh, do let me know in the comments so that it might help others as well but yeah let's get started on how to do this so first you will have to go to the overview section over here and from this uh, you will have to download this tensorflow light model now it would depend on you which model you will have to download so depending on size and performance and accuracy you can select whatever makes sense to you otherwise if you want to use this heavy model you can upload it to your server and download uh, using an http call something like that from your s3 bucket uh, yeah you can use that but here i have just shipping this tensorflow light model with my app itself just trying to keep it simple next uh, here as you can see uh, i have created a flutter project and this is our main dot dart file and i have refactored this home page widget to be a stateful widget i have created a method channel called pick image platform and here i have taken a one text button which calls this pick image method and here i have one uh, image view which is a custom widget i have created and once you select an image i am sending the image url from native side to flutter side so i am assigning that to this particular variable and once this is not equal to null i am sending that url to this my image view now if you go to my image view dot dart here you can see that i have created one identifier and here i have one created one map as well and i am passing that image url to this particular map and i have also created this did update which is so that every time the user selects a new image the widget gets updated uh, and over here as you can see uh, this is boilerplate code for creating any kind of native ui so if it is android display and android view if it is ios display ui kit view uh, so next what you will have to do is you will have to go to the android folder go to app uh, go to settings.gradle first you will have to update the kotlin version to 1.9.0 next go to this build.gradle and here you will have to update the min sdk version to 24 because that is what is required by media pipe and here i have added this activity and fragment uh, kotlin extension because we want to use register for activity result for picking images i have also added this media pipe task vision dependency i have added the coil dependency to load a uh, bitmap inside an image view and i have also used constraint layout which i will uh, let you know why i'm using that next go to src main inside that create an assets folder and here you can drag and drop uh, the tensorflow light model whichever you have downloaded to your assets folder next go to ja uh, go to kotlin sorry uh, first you have to create this overlay view.kt so this is basically for drawing those post detection uh, landmarks on your image and to be honest with you like i have completely copy pasted it from the documentation so you can go to this android documentation over here and here you can go to the overlay view dot uh, kt file and uh, so here you can just uh, copy paste uh, all the code uh, whichever you want so i will slowly scroll through this uh, code so if you want you can just copy it by pausing the video okay next uh, we have to go to main activity dot kt and here i have to i have created a one method channel result uh, next uh, i have uh, also used flutter fragment activity and if you want you can copy all these imports 
next i have to use this register for activity result because uh, once the user selects an uri selects an image we get the uri for that particular image and i am sending it back to the flutter side and inside configure flutter engine we are registering our image view as well as i am calling this method channel called pick image platform and once the pick image uh, method is called we are just launching our photo picker app and the mime type is for images so only images will be displayed next i have uh, created a factory class so here as you can see uh, i am using uh, image view factory and again this is boilerplate code which you have to write for any kind of a native view and we are referencing uh, my image view now if you go to my image view dot kt again you can copy paste all the imports if you want to and here you can see that i have created one constraint layout and the reason why i'm using constraint layout is because i want this overlay view as well as the image view on top of each other next i have created this base options builder and I have set the asset model path now this name should be the same which you have inside the assets folder over here next i have created a pose landmarker pose landmarker options dot builder and i have set uh, the confidence level as well and number of poses i have set it to one and uh, it is for image so we are detecting it for image then i have uh, built the options builder and i have created our pose landmarker as well then i have returned our constraint layout here i have initialized our pose landmarker and for constraint layout i have set the id as well as the width and height then i have created our constraint set as well and if you see for the our image view i have set one id added it to our constraint layout set some scale type i think this might be causing issue like i have tried using uh, other scale type as well but i was still not able to figure it out then i have set some width and height as well and here basically what i'm doing is that i'm uh, constraining the image views top bottom start and end to the constraint layout stop bottom start and end exact same thing whatever we have done for our image view we are doing it for the overlay view as well and then we are just calling constraint set dot apply constraint layout if you want you can use relative layout as well instead of constraint layout but i don't really remember constraint uh, relative layout that's why i'm using constraint layout then once we get the image uh, uri i am calling the display method so with the help of image URI, we are converting it to a bitmap and then we are scaling down our bitmap. Then we are calling bitmap image builder. Then we are calling the detect method from our pose land marker and passing our MP image. So the bitmap is converted to MP image over here. And then we just pass uh, the result to our overlay view dot set results. Also, we pass the image uh, MP image height and width. And we also load the uh, bitmap inside our image view and this is a helper class which i have created for scaling down our bitmap so yeah i think uh, that's it uh, thank you for watching bye